join us. This is Josie. She's a Tring Walker Coonhound. She is between eight months and a year old. I just pick her up. This is day one of her journey. She just saw someone up on the street walking her dog. Her evaluation walk. Obviously, she's a hunting breed. She is not working as a team on this walk. She's definitely working against me on the turns especially. She is also not aware that I'm at the other end of the leash, so no teamwork whatsoever. And I'm actually doing more work than she is. Josie's gonna begin training. I'm gonna start with the follow command. It's a loose leash walking command. It's an informal command. She can walk in front, behind, or to either side. Just so there's slack in the leash, she checks in with me occasionally. And also, she turns when I turn. And here we go. Josie is wearing a Sport Dog Model A25X. With e-collar training, you're looking to softly gain focus in order to teach commands. E-collars are computers where you can program modes and move through different models with additional features so you can customize equipment for each dog. At the beginning, I'm moving through the buttons and dial on the remote looking for that perfect number that will keep Josie's nose off the ground, slack in the leash, and her eyes checking in with me. I'm helping her become aware that I'm at the other end of the leash. As I progress her training, I'm looking at her behavior and assessing not only a change in her walking skills, but also to determine that she is happily walking. All of this information lets me know for this snapshot in time, this training session, that she is on her way. Break. <laughs> so working on her release command, which is break. Break, Josie, break. Good girl, Josie. Good job. Break. Good girl. Okay, so I'm using her toys to let her know it's time to go and play. It is her release command, which is break. achieved some goals for this moment in time for the first training session. I'm so excited for her. So she is giving me slack on the leash. She's turning when I'm turning and she's also visually checking in with me.
she's starting to become aware that when my feet are moving, she's supposed to be moving with me. And when my feet stop, she stops. The sit command is your two fingers sort of making a chair. Sometimes you'll see me wave them. The weight command is your arm extended with your palm up. The place command is a directional command. I use my right leg one step forward and point with my arm to the object that I wish for Josie to go to. So it looks like this. And for the heel command, she'll be healing on the left side. So I'll always want to cue her by starting off with my left foot. Follow command, when I do use a hand signal, it's sort of like scooping the air with my left hand usually. It really doesn't matter because the dog understands when your feet are moving that she's supposed to be moving with you. And when your feet are stopped, she's supposed to be stopped. Break is her release command. And usually I just get animated or you can throw a toy. This is Josie's room and she'll have to earn over the next few days the ability to be in this room without me in it. She'll be in the crate for rest in between training sessions. She also has a bowl of water in this room that I will put into her crate during feeding time as well as offer her water throughout the day. As you can see, she does get into everything as her pet parents report it. I have right here a, a canvas um, crate liner which she'll have to earn uh, later on. I need to see how her chewing habits work. The other thing that is in this room is a camera so that I can watch her 7 by 24. Um, training treats, which we use for crate training. We also have a radio for some music. Yeah. Okay, so I have removed her leash. We're going to see what her crate training abilities are or skills. Josie Crate. I'm going to go ahead and throw a treat in there. There she goes. I'm going to ask her to wait. Wait. Yes. Wait. Yes. Wait. So in the coming days, she'll be sitting and waiting before she enters the crate. And when she also exits, we'll have a sit and wait. Yes. Good girl, Josie. Yes. Wait. Yes. Wait. Yes. Wait. Wait. Building up the duration of the wait so we can open the door fully. Wait. And this is something we'll be working on over the two weeks. Yes. Let's go. Good girl.